In the book of James, chapter 4, look what it says in verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. I've got a question for you. Is working in Hollywood Satan's toilet? Would that be considered being a friend of the world? And friends, I can't imagine a better definition of somebody who is in the world than an actor who works in the leading source of debauchery and filth, uh, spewing it out worldwide. I, I can't honestly think of a better definition than living in the world than to be an actor or an actress in Hollywood. So today on Yahoo, we've got a new article here. Looky, looky, Guardians of the Galaxy, Star-Lord is revealed to be bisexual. We know who Star-Lord is, don't we? Look how the article starts. The LGBTQ plus community just gained a new superhero. That's not good. Marvel revealed this week that the character Peter Quill, known as Star-Lord, is bisexual. New comic book released on December 9th, Guardians of the Galaxies, number 9, includes the story, I Shall Make You a Star-Lord, which dis describes Star-Lord's background and sexual orientation, according to Screen Rant. In the story, Peter Quill, who's portrayed by Chris Pratt in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, was invited by two blue, blue humanoids named Aradea, Ardea, I'm sorry, Aradea and Morse to experience their togetherness on the planet Marinus Hype Beast reports. However, he initially rejected their advances and told him that he had to get back home to his partner, Gamora, who's played by Zoe Zaldani on screen. Twelve years later, he apparently had a change of heart. And in a special temple, he got it on the three of them in a bathtub. It's just disgusting. Now, in all fairness, uh, we've not heard yet from Chris Pratt. Uh, but the question here for me is not so much whether Chris Pratt is going to, I don't know, live this out on film, on screen, but just the fact that they wrote his character as bisexual should be enough for any person that claims to follow Jesus Christ in all truth and sober-mindedness to walk away from this, to absolutely refute it, to abandon it, to reject it altogether. Why? Well, because we're supposed to love Jesus above all. This is Antichrist. And I can't see for the life of me how Chris Pratt is going to continue this charade of pretending he's Christian while continuing to do these things. He's done these things before. I'm at imdb.com, Internet Movie Database, where you can look at Chris Pratt's work, his history, his filmography, uh, one of the most troubling things, even as he did, actually I think this was last year, a movie called Onward. This is a Disney kids movie. It's supposed to be comedy. Of course, he did the voiceover. What is this movie about? Well, look at the synopsis. Two Elven brothers embark on a quest to bring their father back for one day. Back from what? The grocery store? No, no. Back from the dead. Oh, necromancy, conjuring up the dead while, I guess, casting spells in order to make that happen. But Christians should be okay with this. I mean, it's not like we had a struggle or a real problem with J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series, which absolutely shredded a generation and taught them that it's okay to do magic. Let's continue to do that, Chris Pratt, the Christian dude. No, no, no. What Jesus is he serving? So I'm calling out Chris Pratt again. I mean, how long can you think you can live this life? Whom do you serve? You must decide because you're doing a tremendous amount of damage and telling those who follow you, who look up to you, that yeah, you can serve Jesus and live in the world and uh, be friends with all of this debauchery and filth, and somehow that's okay. Good grief, this has got to stop. Chris Pratt, today is the day. You have got to reject Hollywood and the satanic filth that it is. You need to proclaim the true Jesus Christ of the Bible. And you need to tell your followers, show your followers why you did it and who the true superhero is of life. And that is the Jesus Christ of the Bible, the one true 
Savior and Lord of Lords and King of Kings. It's got to end. You've got to walk away. It's going to cost you your career, but who cares? All right. This is not worth your soul lost in eternity in the lake of fire. Reject Hollywood today and embrace the true Jesus Christ of the Bible and show your followers in Jesus' name.